from Pokedot Insider. Um, today I have a quick chat with um, who all you know, um, Mr. Sota Watanabe, founder and CEO of Asta Network, one of the top projects in the whole Pokedot ecosystem. So uh, it's a pleasure to meet you uh, in person like this. Can you say hi to the audience? Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Sota Watanabe. Uh, thank you very much for having me today. I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, so I have some questions for you, um, Mr. Sota. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, Always. so, uh, so Asta Network is uh, like a multi chain uh, smart contract platform and it's to this time to get more builders and developers uh, into this ecosystem. So, what's your plan to attract these builders? Yeah, so Asta is recognized as uh, one of the leading chain in the Polkadot ecosystem. And a lot of people know that Polkadot does not support smart contract yeah. by design. So all people who would like to make some, something dApps on the top of Polkadot need at least one smart contract parachain, right? Yeah. And when it comes to smart contract, we have a two virtual machine yeah. in Polkadot ecosystem. Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly. Ethereum virtual machine is like Windows OS. It's widely used, but uh, it's all the, you know, obsolete. Yeah. So we have a Mac OS, which is WebAssembly. Yeah. So we would like to support both at the same time and make them interoperable, interactive. And yeah. this is the reason why people can deploy Ethereum smart contract on Asta, and the people can deploy Polkadot native dApps on Asta as well. And another thing is uh, DAPS staking. DAPS staking is the basic income for developer. By making DAPS on the top of Asta, uh, people can earn Asta token. And yeah. I think I'm going to explain DAPS staking later. Yeah, uh, so that's amazing. Um, I believe that it will work with this attractive program. So uh, the next one is very a tough one. Yeah, so I have a friend. Uh, he's also a short leader at Good Insider. Um, and true believer at Asta Network, but he also thinks that uh, EVM is extremely difficult to, to replace by web assembly. So, um, because Ethereum influence is too big. So, uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, uh, I think Ethereum virtual machine and web assembly uh, will be coexist, yeah. which means web assembly does not replace Ethereum virtual machine yeah. because Ethereum virtual machine is widely used and Ethereum is the biggest smart contract at this moment. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, EVM has a lot of the limitations. So EVM only supports Solidity or Viper, right? And there are a lot of the limitation and EVM does not support specific uh, functions yeah. when it comes to programming. Yeah. So uh, WebAssembly is more uh, general yeah. and useful in terms of the performance. And also, it is developed by web two companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Mozilla, and so on. So we would like to support WebAssembly to unlock Web three for Web two developer. Yeah. And we are going to support Ethereum developer as well as Web two developer. Then people can deploy not only uh, you know Solidity and Viper, but also Last smart contract. Uh, Go smart contract or even maybe JavaScript smart contract. If we can do that, you know, we can invite JavaScript engineers, yeah. which is the population is much bigger than you know, Solidity developer, right? So we would like to unlock Web3 for Web2 people. But uh, at the same time, this transition does not, you know, this, this transition from EVM to WebAssembly take years, I think more than five years or something. So yeah. we would like to support both. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I agree with this because um, in my way of thinking, uh, like it would, be, it would be more and more developers uh, around the world to join blockchain industry, and it don't need to be Ethereum go-to choice. Yeah. Yeah. And um, because developer will be different in their way of belief. Right. Yeah. So uh, the first, the first question that um. Can you describe fast uh, what we are staking exactly? Yeah, DAPS staking is the basic income for all developers. So blockchain is all about incentive design, right? Yeah. And but the incentive design for developer is absolutely broken. 
because developer is the most fundamental and you know, important human resource in the ecosystem, but they are paying a lot to make dApps, right? So we incentivize developer to make innovative dApps on the top of us. Yeah. And we have a block inflation as other blockchain has. Yeah. Um, and inflation goes to curator yeah. as well as dApps developer based on their performance. So we distribute basic income from block rewards to uh, developers, which is good. And generally speaking, foundation has, let's say, 10%, and 10% goes to a uh, grant, right? 10% is absolutely limited. Yeah. But for us, our grant is unlimited because token comes from new inflation. And, you know, DAPS developer is incentivized to make innovative dApps to get more rewards, right? And the infrastructure project, and also you guys can register your maybe dApps or smart contract on our portal so that you can get basic income. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not only for developer, but also for infrastructure project and ecosystem community like you guys. Yeah, that, that's amazing. So the fourth question will be the easiest one. Um, can you describe um, five main things of Asta Network that you are super proud of? Yeah, um, five things, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think first, first things is the team and our value. So I probably it's two, the team and the value. So we have uh, roughly 35 people across the globe, 10 people in Asia, 15 people in Europe, and around 10 people in the US. And the, I think uh, we, when we hire people, we prioritize culture fitness over skill. So crypto is you know, volatile, right? So there are a bunch of uh, uh, bull market and a bunch of the bear market. We need a people who can build during the bear market. So we, we really care about why they are here and why they are developing blockchain under the, in the winter, right? So uh, I, I'm proud of the, the culture and teammates yeah. in the team. And in terms of the culture, we have a three value. The first value is the shine like a star. It's like, it's all about, you know, ownership and founder's mindset. And second one is uh, open and transparency. So people have to have open mind and information needed to be shared transparently. So all information at the team, except for salary is public yeah. so all people know how many tokens i'm going to get and when and address so <laughs> because we are making public blockchain right permissionless um the last one is uh, <laughs> uh proactive executor yeah proactive executor <laughs> so people need to be proactive so if you work with us if i order something which is wrong yeah. so they have to you know get things done for my order. Yeah. If they have a founder mindset, they can do that. Yeah, so I'm proud of the culture. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah there's that's, so many things. Yeah, so that, that's really amazing. And that would be a motivation for those bullish people like us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And one last question before we end. Um, do you have any advice for, for young generation that have passionate and having a career in blockchain industry? Yeah, uh, I think Web3 is a uh, first opportunity for young generation like like me and you yeah. to be involved from day one. Like yeah. internet was born 30 or 40 years ago or even more, right? So we are not here in us. And mobile, I was high school student, so I could not join the mobile revolution. But Web3 is the first revolution for us, young generation, to be involved in a uh, from scratch, uh, from the beginning. So this is one of the most exciting things for the young generation, and we can be a frontier of the innovation, and we can make the world a better place. So this is the, the one of the most important things for the younger generation, I guess. Yeah, um, that's amazing. So this will inspire a lot of young generation, especially in Vietnam. Yeah. So um, I believe that this is the end of the um, Thanks for your time for joining us.
Yeah, thank you very much for having me today.